News, ABC 30 Action News, live at 6 in high definition with Graciela Moreno, Warren Armstrong, Angelo Stavis with the Stormborn 30 forecast, and Jason Oliveira Sports. Rescue efforts to save 33 miners trapped almost a mile beneath the surface in Chile began today with the drilling of a rescue shaft. The men will likely spend the next two months underground. But with the help of a Fresno company's video camera, the trapped miners are showing the entire world they are alive and well. The miners have spent 25 days underground, but they're communicating with the surface through advanced video equipment. As Action News reporter John Thomas Cobo shows us, a video camera made right here in Fresno is providing hope for the miners' families. After barreling 2,200 feet below the earth, a special piece of equipment provided an unbelievable first glimpse of life for 33 trapped Chilean miners. It's pretty exciting knowing that our equipment may help in the, the complete rescue of these guys. Jim Lozano of Aries Central California Video in Fresno designed the camera that reassured families their loved ones were safe after a mine collapsed on August 5th. A written message was attached to the camera when it returned to the surface, telling rescuers all the miners were alive. Lozano is holding the exact same model that was lowered into the ground. Most people purchase these for what? What do they use these for? It's going to be uh, water wells, uh, boreholes, uh, shallow oil and gas, uh, coal bed methane and rescues. One of the design flaws with older cameras that were lowered into holes is that you only had a downward view. Yes, that's my feet right there. But with these new dual view cameras, you can see what's around you. Lozano was negotiating a deal to sell the Chilean mining company his product months ago. He says this disaster sped up the process. The company finished assembling the camera, cables and other accessories in one day to the tune of $20,000. This video here shows the device being lowered into the ground. They went through 2,200 feet, uh, 700 meters, uh, but this camera, camera has a capability to descend to 5,000 feet deep if necessary. With this remote control, the user has the ability to focus, zoom, and adjust the lighting on any object in its view. Uh, there's only a handful of manufacturers making this type of equipment. Rescuers say the miners could be stuck underground for up to four months before they are freed. Lozano is happy this technology was available to give both miners and their families hope. Reporting from East Central Fresno, John Thomas Cobos, ABC 30 Action News.